So I want to get to the book you just released about a month ago, and I have it right here. It is called Kissinger, 1923 to 1968, The Idealist. And this puppy sits at 986 pages. Why couldn't you make it to 1,000? <laughs> Well, I could easily have made it to a thousand. What did you leave out? I, I cut to try and make the thing as readable as possible. I was right long and then cut, so it could quite easily have been longer than a thousand. I mean, there are a lot of words in here. Is there one in there that you are particularly proud of using? The idealist. Well, idealist. The idealist itself. I'm giving it the subtitle, the idealist was uh, partly a provocation uh, designed to infuriate readers of the New York Times, but more seriously, it was, it was intended to show that this book was going to say something quite new uh, about the first half of Kissinger's life, uh, something unexpected. And uh, on the basis of years of research, this thing took about 10 years to do, I became convinced that his reputation as the arch-realist, the sort of American Machiavelli, was wrong. So the thing that, that's exciting about the book for me is that it genuinely challenges received wisdom. And I think if you're writing a history book and saying something old, you probably are wasting your time. So this, I think, says something new.